Thank you very much, folks. My next guest is a, uh, a terrific juggler, a prolific songwriter, and a talented actor and a very funny stand-up comedian. He is currently touring the country with Mickey Rooney and Ann Miller. No show, they're just the three of them traveling. Uh, no, they're appearing, you're going from Motel 6 to Motel 6. Uh, they're appearing, of course, in Sugar Babies. Please welcome Mr. Michael Davis. Thank you, I'm Michael Davis. Thank you. First thing I'd like to do is a very simple hat trick. Find out if you like these kinds of tricks. Okay, one more time since you liked it that much. I didn't think it was that good, but you're the audience. Maybe this is the last time because we're... <laughs> Maybe not. Now I'll go on to something more difficult. You see, the shorter an object is, the more difficult it becomes to balance. I think you can see how much shorter this ball is than this hat. It's going to be a long show. I'd like you to imagine I could toss the ball into the air, catch it on my nose, and balance it. While you're imagining that... If I could do this, you would remember me. It's kind of windy in here. I think you remember me now. It's a gimmick. Cheap trick. So I've been expanding my horizons. I'd like to share this with you now. before you lend an ear <laughs> The girl is gone without a trace I'm lonely but I'm saving face
help, I'm flying away. I think that whether you like songs like that depends on your attitude and your point of view. And when you think about it, your whole life is an attitude. Conversely, death must be an attitude. A bad attitude. I'd like to end with a song about attitude and point of view. Well, the man said to God, what's a million years to you? And God said, a second. <laughs> so the man said to God, what's a million dollars to you? And God said, a penny. <laughs> so the man said to God, would you give me a penny? And God stopped and said, yes, I will. Just a second. Michael Davis, uh, tell me about, uh, now, are you dating a lot? Is this song that, uh, in any way, ref yeah, does that reflect anything that's actually happening in your life? Yes, I am dating, uh, since I moved to New York, I decided to date women that live in New York. Uh-huh. Uh, it's easier that way, but the problem with, with women here in New York is they're very career-oriented. I was dating one woman who was a writer for Cosmopolitan magazine. She was writing an article on how to use and degrade a man and not feel bad about it. <laughs> I was just helping with the research, yeah, really. Yeah. Let me ask you about, I mentioned uh, that you're traveling the country with uh, Ann Miller and Mickey Rooney. That's right. I'm not in New York right now. I'm in You're Pittsburgh. somewhere else, in I'm Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh right how are now. things going there? Better than here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, things are going yeah, fine. Things here. are going good. Now, what is it like? Uh, what you got a big van or a station wagon? The three of you. Ann and Mickey and yeah, I. Yeah, yeah. We stick them in the trunk, and Ann. Drives. What is she like? Ann is a great lady. I yeah. love Ann Miller. She's uh, a modern day. Uh, what, what Burns and uh, Gracie Allen. Mm -hmm. She's just like Gracie Allen. Someone asked Ann Miller, uh, "What are you doing for Passover?" She said. I don't do those game shows anymore. Yeah. <laughs> She's a great lady. Yeah. I, I like Mickey. And what, I like Mickey, too. Now, what, what about Mickey Rooney? What, what kind of man is he? I'm just glad he's not taller. Uh, <laughs> he's uh, a living legend. He's an amazing man. He's an amazing man to watch every night, uh, do his, his act. Nice guy? Yeah, yeah, he's a nice guy, yeah. Okay. Um, do, 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 you, do you mind doing some juggling? I want to keep in sugar babies. Too. <laughs> do, you, do you mind doing some juggling for us, Michael? No. no. <laughs> uh, did I ever explain to you my philosophy about the art of juggling? No, sir. No, I never did. No, no, you no. never did. So I have an unusual philosophy. I don't think it's important how many. Of course, the problem is how to get an audience to agree with that philosophy. I found that you have to do a trick with style. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two balls are many more possibilities. <laughs> Take away one hand to make it simpler. Now, the truly masterful juggler can even look away. One who practiced can even glance around the theater. <laughs> Save it up. Now you may wonder, why did I throw that ball down? <laughs> I'm wondering that too. Go ahead, you can throw it back. There are people in the studio right now. That's why, so I can show you that trick. How can we add even more excitement to this? 
I'll try to do is look away, grab another ball. <laughs> Now watch as I place the ball into the pattern. Teasing. I wouldn't take these two balls out and show them without using them. Let's get rid of those three. Seriously. One, two, three, four. Five balls up in the air at one time. More than five. The eyeball. makes eight all together. <laughs> but why bore you with my problems? Here we go. Five ball juggling. Ending my catching a ball on the back of my neck. The neck catch. Ready to Again, sad news uh, to George Meyer fans. It looks like George Meyer, staff writer and crime fighter, will not be on tonight. But, uh, please, please. Uh, we'll reschedule Mr. Meyer. Uh, you have a very impressive act. You not only can juggle uh, well, perhaps the best I've seen, not that I've seen well, jugglers, uh, and you, 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 you uh, play the guitar, you sing, and you're a very funny uh, comedian. Thank you, Dave. I, I, no, 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 no. You don't want to encourage me. And uh, go ahead. Well, I, I've had a very, very, a very varied career, you might say. Um, I started out as a, as a writing poetry in high school. There's good money in that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there was a lot of laughs in it because yeah. that's what people did when I read it. That's what first got me uh, interested in, in being a comedian and, laugh and laughter. I tried to be an actor after that, was an actor in high school, uh, out of high school into an improv troupe. Did that for a while, and backstage I was learning how to juggle. So then when I went into the circus... You were actually in the circus? I was actually in the circus. As a... I was a geek in a former... But not, not a geek in the traditional no, sense of the word. I was a circus clown. I was... Yeah. I put on... I was a white face uh, clown. Did you, tr you travel by train and... By uh, train. Uh, bad hotels and so forth? Just lived on the train for a oh, year. Yeah. I had a room that was the size of this desk right here. In fact, a friend of mine who was, uh, the, the rooms were exactly six feet long, and a friend of mine who was 6'2", uh, there was a midget on the other side of him, so they just cut a hole in his wall, and he stuck his feet through into the midget's room. The midget's rooms were shorter. Oh, my. Uh, is, the, do, circus, do circus performers uh, earn a good living? $150 a week. That's what I made. Yeah. Now, what, what about... Uh, better than people in Pittsburgh. <laughs> uh, what? Well, I'm just, it's a depressed economy, folks. What are you uh, talking about? You have a job, you're lucky. What about, what about the other end of the scale, the star performer of the circus, uh, whoever that might be, whomever that might well, be? Well, it's, circus is a very old world. They don't go into the circus world to make a lot of money. <laughs> no, I would probably, <laughs> that makes sense. You yeah. go in because you're raised around lions and tigers, or yeah. you don't know how to do anything else. Yeah. You know? Are a lot of people raised around lions and tigers, as it, as it turns out? Just circus people, that's the way it is. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm happy you could be here tonight. I know you, are you going now to Pittsburgh? I'm going tomorrow to do the uh, national uh, 
Association of Colleges Conventions to oh. perform for colleges. And more. then back into Sugar Babies. Back into Sugar Babies. Nice to see you, Michael. Thank you very much for being here. Continued success, Lisa. Uh, we'll be right back, folks. Okay. Uh, we're out of time. I want to thank everybody in the studio audience. You folks are terrific again. Uh, my thanks to Viva and her daughter, Alexander. Mr. Michael Davis. Michael, thank you for being here. Uh, George Meyer, staff writer and crime fighter, will be rescheduled. Check your local listings for that. Uh, my thanks to Paul Schaefer and the band, Hiram Bullock, Will Lee, and Steve Jordan. And uh, Monday, Sly Stone and Sandra Bernhardt from King of Comedy. Good night. Have a good weekend. Next guest is an actor, a comedian, a magician, a juggler, and he also rides to work with Clive Barnes. He is a very talented human being. He'll be appearing through Sunday night at Caroline's here in New York City. Please welcome Michael Davis. This is a... Oh, property. Oh, you know, I didn't notice that. Yeah. That's right. Property of Ball State University, Muncie, Indiana. Yes. Because I have a degree from this institution. I know that. I was performing there. For uh, this up? Homecoming? For Homecoming. Yeah. It's a gig that you did. That's right. A few at, years at, before uh, I did it. It's a beautiful auditorium, isn't it? Yes. As a matter of fact, the, uh, the guy who manages the auditorium remembered you mm -hmm. and told me that uh, when you came there to perform, uh, he wrote your first joke for you. Yeah, he gave me a line as I was going on stage. I can't remember it exactly, but it was something about... The line about... he told me was, it's not often, Dave, when a student can come back and earn his entire tuition in one night. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That was the yeah. line. It was pretty well received, as a matter yeah. of fact. Speaking of, uh, uh, speaking of gigs, uh, is it true now you're going to be appearing at the White House? This will be twice for yes. you, isn't it? This I performed at Ford's Theater. Uh, for the... Uh, command performance. That's right. But this is actually the White House now, huh? This will be a party, I believe, in the banquet hall or something of the actual White House. Uh -huh. I think I'm going from a comedy club called Yuck Yucks, then <laughs> straight to the White House, and then back to a college in Poughkeepsie, I think, is, uh, is my schedule. Now, I've you... been running around a lot. As a matter of fact, I was late for the show here, and I kind of skinned my elbow when I was I'm running into the that. building because I tripped over a well-known theater critic who was passed out in the gutter. <laughs> the audience at home is going to understand that when the show goes on tonight, so... No, no, they, I well, think everything all, will be intact. Okay. So, they, so they tell me. Uh, <laughs> now, when you perform at the White House, have they said, now, uh, Michael, don't do this, you can do this, don't do that, be careful with the uh, knives, be careful no with this... No juggling of nuclear weapons uh, and uh, <laughs> limited nuclear weapons. Uh -huh. No multiple heads and... Uh, but seriously, do they, do they give you guidelines about, well, please don't make jokes about... Uh, well, the last you know, time I... I performed for the president, uh, they were very nice. They let me juggle my razor-sharp implements, and I was literally just a few feet yeah. away from the president. I they read were, about that. Yeah. Security <laughs> agents all over the place. And, but they let me go ahead and do it. I was amazed. I yeah. thought, here's the most powerful person in the world, and if I miss... <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Uh, when, whenever I see you perform, you strike me as a person who really has uh, ice water in your veins. It, doing that in front of the, the first family, does that alter your... Uh, inner mechanism at all? Sure, it's got it, Dave. Yeah, it would it's me, boy. It. Yeah. it got me very, very jazzed. I was excited about it. I, but that was the last thing I was excited about, and that was a year ago. So. <laughs> now, now, when you work in a club, you do a full show, do you ever do you get tired of juggling? 
What do you mean when I do? I do it, and I'm performing this week at yeah. a club called Caroline's right. in New York City. And uh, I do an hour of stuff. And a lot of it's juggling. I've become what you call a generic celebrity. Uh, people don't remember my name, per se, uh -huh. as Michael Davis. They remember me as the juggler. The juggler. And, uh, you know, I have a problem with name recognition. I went to my agent and I said, we should do something about this. He said, who are you? Yeah. Uh, now, I'm going I'm 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 to so. prevail upon you uh, uh, one more time on the show to do some juggling. Well, I, that's, I would love okay. to do. Would you, would you sure. want to do this? we got a, we got a pause here, Michael. Why don't you, uh, you want to go ahead and set up, and then yeah. when we come back after this commercial, Michael Davis will be juggling for us. Welcome back. Michael Davis is here, and you're, you're going to juggle. Now, this is unusual. This is a... Uh, not seen this before. No, this is an innovation that I came up with because I had a lot of different juggling tricks, and I couldn't decide which one to do. This is our wheel of tricks, Dave. Uh, somehow... <laughs> wheel of tricks. I feel like I'm doing your show because I, I thought that this was a, a way of, of picking out a trick, and that way, whatever trick that comes up on the wheel, that's the trick that we'll do. We have all the tricks over here. Some are, are better tricks than others. All right. Uh, so this you is your initiative to spin, to spin the, spinning the get a wheel nice trick. of tricks. <laughs> get ready. Wish for your favorite trick. Here we go. Okay. The wheel of tricks is still turning. There we go. All right. What do we get? Oh. Free spin on the old wheel of tricks. That's the easy it. one for me, Dave. Uh, okay, well, there. What is... <laughs> ah. You won. Oh, wait, Dave, wait. No. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they, we seem to have a poltergeist or something that wants to... Razor sharp this is not. No, this has not been rigged in any way. Uh, you really could have gotten anything at all. You could have gotten Ask Again later. Uh, foot over the leg. This is a, one of the simpler tricks that you could have gotten. Really? that you might have won. We'll show you what you might have won if you'd landed on this. Okay. In fact, <laughs> this so is what a you're trick saying, Michael, you... this wheel is just another it's... cheap prop. No, it, it has not been rigged in any way, All but, right. but we'll get back to that. Okay, this this is something the... that you can do along with me if you want. Well, this is I called the that. foot over the leg trick. Foot over the leg It's trick. one of the simpler tricks in show All business. Right. You grab your foot like this. Grab it's your... simple. Grab my now, foot the object, foot. It's called the foot over the leg. Uh -huh. So in other words, you jump, take the foot over the leg, and well, land on no, the foot. No, 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 no you, don't, you don't do it's that. It's one of the... I think anybody in show business should be able to do this trick. But, but Jeez, maybe... I, uh... You know, I didn't, I didn't wear my foot-over-the-leg jacket, and I... <laughs> uh, well, as I'm, you know, you'd be a fool to attempt it without the special jacket. And... <laughs> and it helps to have certain other things on at the same All time. All right, what else we do we were, have here? What did we land on? What was it for? Ra uh, Razor sharp implements. Okay, razor sharp implements. All right. If you'd like, you can go for something else. Uh, razor sharp implements. It's amazing if it works would be nice. The rope trick. Well, the rope trick is a simp is a simple trick. This is this, this is another one that you might try. This is the rope. Yeah. And the object is to throw a knot. Whoop. Uh, I'll try it one more time. All right. The wind. <laughs> Just throw uh, a loop right in the right, knot. Let me try It's that. not a trick that you see often on television because it's not very impressive. Any, anything, <laughs> anything I should, should keep in mind with this? Just, it's a little flick of the wrist. <laughs> and if at first you don't succeed, try again. And then just give up because there's no sense do making it, a fool of Do it one more time. <laughs> let me see that one more time. Oh, 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 oh. You see oh that? yeah, I see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now what's, you almost had it. What's now next we're going to go to the trick that you actually you actually selected. This is the uh, razor sharp implements. All right, razor sharp implements. This is the first razor sharp implement. A razor sharp knife. Going to be juggling that with an axe. Oh, excuse me, I have to get the phone. <laughs> and a knife. Three razor sharp implements. 
The important thing in this trick is, of course, to concentrate on each... <laughs> ...and every object. Before we go any further, a quick dramatic effect. <laughs> With the razor sharp... Make sure that doesn't fly off again. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> and now what I'd like to do is to kick the axe up in the air. Throw the cleaver. Throw the knife. Run like hell. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. Ver Stopping is a problem, yeah. Dave. Yeah. If you wouldn't mind just grabbing one of these for me. <laughs> ah. Now we'll stop. This is the triple spin ending. Thanks, Michael. Very nice. Good luck at the White House. We'll be right back, folks. Thank you, Bill. Now, uh, Earl E. Black, the presidential candidate, we ran out of time. We will reschedule his appearance and notify each of you by mail. <laughs> um, uh, my thanks to uh, Mr. Bill Cosby and, uh, of course, uh, Bill Wendell and Paul and the band. Tomorrow night, comedian Chevy Chase will be here and actress Zsa Zsa Gabor. Michael, you're going to juggle us out of here? Oh! oh! My God! Our guest, uh, next guest tonight is a very talented a human being who is starring in his own show on Cinemax. It's a cable operation. He's, uh, the show is called Michael Davis, The Life of the Party. Please welcome juggler, actor, magician, comedian Michael Davis. Michael. <laughs> I'd like to start off with a quick impression. Juggling on a motorcycle. Me there. I'm Hi, sorry, Michael Dave. Aria, nice to see you. Have a seat. Are they we, mean, we, we they mean to wake you. What? Well, we're going to sit down here. Okay. How you been? Good. Well, is there, are you find there's a lot of work for jugglers these days? No, not really. Uh, <laughs> there's not enough work. Uh huh. Really. I was watching your show last night, and uh, Mariel Hemingway. Right. Mariel, whatever. Mariel Hemingway. She was there. talking about uh, the need to have something that happens every day besides show business, and I have been working on a couple of different businesses to take the place mm -hmm. of juggling in case that there is no work. Mm -hmm. uh, I started one company called the Enigma Billing Company, and we send uh, bills for around $18 to large corporations. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's hoping that they'll pay it uh -huh. rather than <laughs> and check it out. Um, I have, I have another game I'm working on. I, I, I think it would be good to invent something like the Pet Rock or Trivial Pursuit. And uh, 
I notice when I play Trivial Pursuit, there's always two types of questions. There's the easy ones that the other people get. For sure. Like, was Johnny Carson ever married? Or something like that. Yeah. And then there's the more difficult ones that you get, like, what did Otto Titzling invent? Mm -hmm. The Brazier. Oh, he is? Yeah. Uh, no, that's true. I didn't make that up. So no, I've been working. That's not true, is it? Yeah, Otto Titzling. But the problem with trivial, <laughs> with trivial pursuit is that you have to get all your friends together to do it, both of them. And anyway, mm -hmm. I worked on a game called <laughs> Rhetorical Pursuit. Right. That you can, it's a lot. It's a lot longer, but you can. How play. does that go? These are a few questions that I'm working on. When they ship styrofoam, what do they pack it in? <laughs> Does it make sense to sell no soliciting signs door to door? <laughs> Probably not, no. no. But these are rhetorical. Yeah. An answer Don't is answer not these. no. Don't answer okay. these. Uh, if most auto accidents happen within five miles of your home, should you move ten miles away? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay, follow this one now. If Rolaids consume 47 times their weight, and you ate five pounds, <laughs> would you be completely absorbed? <laughs> so, those are, uh, I think you can get a future with this, yeah. All right, now. 500 more of those, I'll have a game. Are we going to, now do we go down here and uh, juggle? Is that the deal? Well, we were, we were supposed to talk about juggling first. Uh, didn't we? That, now we have. Okay. Uh, okay. And then, uh, and juggling then... is a thing that a lot of people are doing because it's something that you can do. You can juggle, and it's a fun thing to do. Mm -hmm. But just because you juggle, that doesn't mean you're a juggler. No, that's true. You're right. Yeah. And you juggle, as a matter of fact. I do juggle mi minimally. Minimally he juggles? Well, we want to just check out your juggling. All right. Down here. We're going to go down here and... We're going to get out the, uh, a few balls just to see where you're at. Because the last time I was on the show, you happened to pick up a few props and juggle them. Oh, here you are. So... And that's the first time I knew that you could juggle. Oh, these are, now what are these? You can't just go into any store and buy these. These are like, uh, those are like uh, toilet floats or something. What are, <laughs> what are those Actually, things? these are dog balls. Oh, are they? They're, yeah, uh, yeah those are nice. And boy, is he Hard best. rubber. Hard, oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, now this is, uh, anybody can do this. Most people. Very good. Excellent. And of course... And, and the, I know two variations, one, one okay. of which I may, may be able to do here. Let's try this. All right. Yeah. Here you go. Oh. Try that one more time. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. But that's, Let's try this one here. I'll teach you an easy one. I'll teach you an easy one. This is the head bounce. Oh, look at that. That autumn. Yeah. There we go. The head bounce. Try that one. <laughs> Relatively painless. A little more arc on that, you would have had. A little more arc on it. A little more arc. Straight up. Hey, okay. <laughs> Very consistent, Dave. Ooh, uh, I did hypnotize. <laughs> there are a lot of uh, fancy stuff you can yeah, do. Yeah, well, that's, fancy that's all I can do. Okay, we got to. Fancy wow, stuff. But anyway, see, that's, that's amazing. Now, you see, those are the impressive tricks you can do. But there's two ways to go in juggling. You can spend your life practicing for something that people really don't care about, or you can get a gimmick. Now, this is the way I would say is the, is the better way to go. So just, with just what you could do right there, sure. it's juggling, but it's not a juggling act because no, no. you don't have a gimmick. Have to have a little hook there. So we're going to give you a gimmick now. And the, the tough thing about gimmicks is that most of the good ones are taken. That's true. I've taken a lot of them, and... Uh, <laughs> Penn and Teller, care about stuff. But here's one that hasn't been done. This is original because if you're not original, you won't get on shows like the David yeah, Letterman show. Yeah, that's right. But we're already on the show, so we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> so this is juggling the major food groups. <laughs> now here's our first food group. I have uh, bread. 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 This is the bread and cereal food group. This, all right. Now, Grains and cereals. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, now remember, when you're juggling, it's not so much what you're doing, but how you do it. Sure. Style is, is everything. Okay, so we do, you follow along with me, and we'll get to this. But you must do it exactly as I oh, do I'm it. I'm sorry, Dave. Michael. Because I've practiced this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
<laughs> a little patience may pay off in the long run on this trick, Dave. So, because what we're going to do here... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, no, no, no. Just straighten your... Get your ducks in a row there. Okay. 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 All right. Now, get rid of the nasty end pieces. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we have the breath. <laughs> Go at your own speed, Dave. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Now, All right, now here we have the bread and cereal food group. <laughs> Smash that up. <laughs> All right. Tear off this part. I know this is a waste of food and there are people juggling in India, but... There's millions watching, it's only two loaves of take bread. Take a little so off of there? Okay. Take that nasty brown part off. That's not good. No, I'm not going to take that off. Okay. okay. Well, crush it up then. Get a nice ball. We used to do this at Halloween. We couldn't afford a pumpkin, so we just... <laughs> Put this in there our window. Is. All right, we got have your ball. There you All go. Right. So you can do the okay. Do the head bounce okay. again with that. What's next? This is a week supply of bread for the normal family. All right, we gotta go. We gotta move. Next, we go with the meat food group. This will be the meat food group. Oh no! Pig. Oh no! No no. Oh no! no. Somebody, somebody has to run the show from the desk, so I'll be over there. You sure you don't want to go? Just, just, oh. there you go. You're, you've done it now, Dave. Oh, God. Now, oh, if you can geez. tie this into a ball, oh, God. You, have your, you have your bread food group here. You, oh. you have your meat food group. Now oh. we're going to go with the final. Anyway, you roll the, this into, oh. This is the dairy food group here, Dave. Oh. Oh. Here you go. Just put your uh, meat food group down there. Oh. Grab, grab a hunk of your, of your dairy food group in here. <laughs> there you go. Just pat that up. That's good. Okay. That's good therapy. Bad baby. I told you. Oh. I'm sorry. Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, did you want to check and see if this is real liver? <laughs> and now, of course, <laughs> taking, the, taking the very basic juggling that you did before, you see how much more interesting it becomes. Oh, God. Oh, help me. See. Please, On help your mark. me. Someone, please, Get set. help me. Juggle. Oh. Show coming up soon. It's called Michael Davis' Belong to the Party. We'll be back after stage identification. Oh, Jesus. Tonight, take the phone off the hook and double lock the door. Turn out all the lights and pull a comfortable chair up to about three feet from your TV screen. Then blast the volume as high as it'll go. And now you're ready for Chris Elliott as the regulator guy. Next on NBC.